Let me start it for you. inside me oh, a little fruit sweet it says mini fruit bar mm. can you get that one mommy mommy do it they're a little bit difficult for little fingers <gasps> another fruit bar mommy open them for you you want to put them back oh is it good Mia yeah good girl yeah. Hi guys and welcome back to Vlogmas part two. So today I've been finishing the Christmas shopping and then I went to pick up Mia. Um, we're going to do a little bit of painting and a really fun project. So I'm going to show you before she attacks it. This is a present for Gran, but Gran's going to get it before Christmas, hopefully, and she will display it in time for Christmas. Gran has made a whole DIY homemade display of little Christmas houses. I'll ask her if I can insert a picture so you can see right here. But we are going to put our little contribution in the post and it hopefully will arrive in time. Yes, baby. Water, yes, we're gonna do some painting. So I basically over designed it because I'm an architect and I have made a little cut out <laughs> on the Cheerios box, folded all the sections so it's ready for them to build and I'm going to get Mia to decorate it now just with some white paint. It is brown card, so it's gonna kind of look hopefully like a gingerbread house. Mia! Yeah, there's Mia! Yeah, are you ready to be creative? Get your art skills warmed up, Mia. A masterpiece for Gran. Mia. And Eric. Mm -hmm. Avi, Eric. Mia. There we go. Would you like this one? No. No? Okay. Would you like this one? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. There you go. Woo! All over. Yeah. Beautiful. That can be the windows. Yay! Okay, there's the masterpiece. <laughs> Good morning. Today is Saturday second weekend in vlogmas and Mia woke up nice and early this morning so we're just been cuddling on the sofa we turned on the Christmas tree lights and she's now watching her little cartoons and songs this is breakfast this morning a nice big cup of tea some toast with peanut butter on it Mia coming over mummy's gonna pre-glue it ready <laughs> No, not that one again, Mia. We're doing Santa this time. Thank you. Put it here. Thank you, perfect. Tap, tap, tap. Yeah, and then we have to do today's one. Mm -hmm. Put it here. Up, here. Just here, Mia. Tap, tap, tap. Oh, good job. Here. Tap, tap, tap. Good job. Yay. And Mia wants more Peppa Pig calendar. Yeah. This is where Mummy has to get creative. We've got one, two, three, four, five. And inside are these ones. Num nums. Is that good? Mia loves it. Ah, the things mums and dads do at Christmas time. Is it beautiful, Mia? <laughs> Ingmar got up about 9.30, so I headed back to bed. So now I'm up and... 
I got up 8.30. No, it was later than no, that. No, it wasn't later. Okay. Let's try. <laughs> He's been looking after Mia, and I'm going to show you what the sitting room looks like. This needs to be picked up, tidied up, put away, and uh, sorted out. I appreciate it will be messy again in five minutes, but this is much, much better. So these guys are taking the car to get some windscreen wipers. And mummy, mummy finger, yay. Mummy is going to help Santa Claus and organize the presents. Cuddle. Have fun, Mrs. Bye. Bye. Whilst they are out of my hair, I've tidied up the kitchen, got the dishwasher on, put everything away. Before I go through the Christmas presents and sort that kind of stuff, I'm going to get the oven on and make a little garland, or rather just dry some oranges out for making garlands with. We bought some clementines from a different supermarket and unfortunately it's hard to see inside the box but the ones on top were good, the ones underneath were a little bit past it so they're already pretty hard so I think I'm going to cut those up and see if I can dry them as well and get some beautiful fresh clementines because Mia and I devour them which is kind of dangerous for her, entertaining nappy wise. But anyway, we won't go there. Oh. <laughs> well, that was lucky, that's all that's left. That's the before. And I've put them on at 120, so I'm going to do that for a couple of hours and give them a turn as we go. A little bit of time to myself and I actually feel so much better. I put on a face of makeup and I will put my glasses back on so I can see. I need a lip. I need, yeah, I need some colour. That's better. Okay, so now I'm going to take you through what I have for gotten people for Christmas. This is a family channel and it's also international and we have kind of a different thing going on with Christmas in Iceland which I still kind of have to get my head around. So we here in Iceland have 13 Santas, they're called Yule Lads. I can do a separate video on this, Ingmar has done one before, I'll link it up here or whichever side and basically they bring a present in the shoe for Mia every single morning leading up to Christmas, so the 12 days before Christmas, and then one on Christmas Day, which is the 24th year in Iceland. In Scotland, the UK, we have one Santa Claus, he comes on Christmas Eve, from Christmas morning you wake up, you enjoy your presents, and your stocking if you're lucky enough. Also here in Iceland, you wait all of Christmas Eve with the presents in front of you on the tree, underneath the tree, until six o'clock when you're allowed to open them. 6 p.m. which must be torture for children but anyway that's a massive side note basically this year because of everything with covid it's very different we are here in iceland we were supposed to go over to scotland this year it was our turn to fly over but we're not able to do that and so i have posted over most of the presents we're going to do hopefully an easter christmas um, and be reunited with all of the family, which I just, the biggest thing I really, really miss out of this is getting to see Mia play with her cousins. That just, that makes me just emotional and ah, oh, just that she's missing out on all of that and they're on FaceTime, it's great, but it's obviously not nearly the same as actually seeing people and for children to play in real life together. So that is really, really difficult, but we're going to stay positive and just pretend like it's normal Christmas and we're here in Iceland. I have posted small things home. I've already done that and unfortunately I didn't, <laughs> don't have any clips of that, which I'd wrap them all beautifully if I do say so myself. So now we have our family here in Iceland to gift to, which I have a few things here. So. This is my warning. <laughs> Ella, if you're watching, please turn off right now. Don't watch the rest of this video or come back in this timestamp. And who else? If you're one of the mums doing Secret Santa, then do the same. And 
I don't think I've got for anyone else right now. Yeah, so we're safe. So what I was thinking for most of the Christmas presents this year was that people are mostly just staying home and just kind of needing to self-care, look after themselves, pamper themselves a little bit. We're gonna take that opportunity and look after people. So I went a bit mad in H&M because I went to the mall yesterday and there's queues for shops because you can only have 10 people in a store at one time and right now everyone's Christmas shopping anyway. So I just went to H&M and that was it, I came home. Seriously, Ella, you need to look away right now. Okay, this is what I got for my sister-in-law, Ingmar's sister. So basically, I decided we would just go super, super cozy and comfortable. So we have a lovely pair of soft, light grey socks. She does Zumba, so I got her a nice sports top, but also you could just wear that as a t-shirt. A pair of leggings to go with. A nice warm grey jumper so it's just a very basic simple jumper that she can wear on the weekend or to work if she wants to as well and then a big cosy hoodie which I love all of these colours and I think they'll work on her really well so that's kind of her pile from us and then from Mia because Mia does get to sometimes have sleepovers there I got her a pair of pyjamas so this is a short sleeve top because in Iceland we have amazing heating, so we don't really need to stay warm indoors too much. So those are nice, comfy, soft pyjamas. And then a little love heart to put on her Christmas tree from Mia. And then a mug that says, a hug and a mug. Which she can have her coffee in the morning. A little hug from her little niece, Mia. So that's her pile of goodies. And then between the mums, we're doing a secret Santa. So I have a girl called Lindsay and she is lovely. Her daughter is the youngest out of all of the babies. So I'm doing a little bit of pamper. She's very into makeup and kind of, I know that she had her eye on one of the masks that Fleur de Force was talking about, which this is not nearly as glamorous, but a gold mask is pretty cool. I got her one of the hug in a mug uh, cups as well. Mia chose this lip balm for her, so that's gonna go in as well. And it's, I think it's a vanilla one, but it's kind of Christmassy, if it'll focus. There you go. And then these eyeshadows, and these are incredible colors. So when I opened up, especially the black one, when I opened that up in the shop, I just thought that is Lindsay in a color right there. So hopefully she agrees. And then again with the mums, we're doing Secret Santa for the children. So Mia has her friend Emma, and Emma is possibly one of the older children that we have. We did a little description of how what our children are into at the moment because obviously we've not seen each other for a while and our children, they all change so much so quickly. So she said that Emma is into playing restaurant or cafe with her dolls and with, with her mum and dad and also with her sports equipment as well. So I thought it would be fun to kind of create like a restaurant pack for her. So basically I've got a kind of tray that she can carry food in, a whole load of um, their plastic I'm sorry, but um, plastic food. So I've, this is actually from the charity shop. I threw it through the dishwasher so it is nice and clean. And then this is so that she can put that over her arm and be a waiter. And then she's got oven mitts because she has a little Ikea kitchen. So that can go with it. I also have a apron which I'm gonna put her name or her initial onto. So I need to get stitching that. And then this I bought in Sister Agrena and it's basically like a little wooden iPad but I thought I could write menu on it and then do a tick box so she can offer different kind of basic dishes to her guests in the restaurant and that can be her little menu. And because Santa is very busy at the moment I was asked if I could get a few extra things for Mia's stocking. So we've got some little chocolates which I might share with her friend Emma in her parcel. These gorgeous clips for her hair, which hopefully she'll let me put in. Tradition that everyone always gets a pair of socks for Christmas, so these are her new socks. She was in the supermarket with me the other day and picked up this ridiculous little nonsense toy. Uh, so that's going to go in, I think. 
It is a unicorn that you grow in water. She obviously had to get a little person Santa hat. And then all of that is going to go in a lovely stocking, which I might put her name on as well. Her main present is hidden in the wardrobe right here. Ingmar said he wanted some chocolate yesterday, so I said, you can have my advent calendar because I hadn't opened it yet. And he opened it up and it was a tiny little snowball. And <laughs> you should have seen his face. The disappointment. <laughs> it was hilarious. Okay, so number five. Here we go. Yummy, yummy lint. Ooh, it's a little Christmassy teddy bear with, oh, oh, it's quite big. I think he would have preferred this one. <laughs> there you go. Check the oranges and enjoy that with my coffee now. I've just turned them all over, but the smell is incredible. I've just made myself a little fruit smoothie and I'm gonna go through the Christmas decorations because Ingmar has now gone off to the supermarket, which, oh, we didn't really need anything, but fine, he's out of the house. Let's be real, we don't have a huge amount of Christmas decorations for our tiny little tree. But I think that we should actually start decorating, so I'm going to go through them all while they're not here and pick out a kind of colour palette for our tree, which I think is just going to be gold, and then we will pick out some additional sentimental um, ornaments to put on the tree. And I'd quite like for this to be the year where we have a really, really nice designer tree because I think next year is going to be a crazy family tree with ornaments that are full of glitter and glue that Mia has made. And it will be amazing, don't get me wrong, but it will be nice to have a designer tree for a year before all of the familyness really kicks in. I found the little tree. Oh, oh my goodness. I don't think anything was put away very well last year, so we need to get much better at that. Get organised so that things like this don't happen. Oh no. There we go. These are the trees that are in the Vlogmas little um, intro that I made. I'm going to just take out all of the gold ornaments and then figure out what's left from there. looks like it's going to be a golden red tree. Okay, so here is an overview of everything that we have. And so I'm going to use that for the table, so I'll put that aside. We have this Christmas tree, which I can't remember where I bought, but we usually hang these little ornaments, which I actually got from students when I left my university lecturing position. I bought this this year, which is gorgeous. I think that this needs to go up somewhere. I just thought it looked very Scandinavian, which is really nice. So these are quite kind of minimalist, Scandi, very neutral palette, natural colors. And then I'm not quite sure about all this, but that's what your family Christmas tree is kind of starting to look like. We have the gorgeous little Mia in a bauble. There you go, there's her scan. You can just about see her. And then that's her as a newborn baby, just a few days old. And then together we made this bauble, which is her handprint of the first Christmas, so 2018. And then this year I made these for our family. So we've got Mama, Pabby and Mia on little stocking. Also, we made that one at the same time. A few decorations that my sister has made. And then I think my mum made this. I can't quite remember. But there's a few that she's given us. And we've got one from India. Those of you who don't know, I used to live there. And then I moved to the freezing cold of Iceland. <laughs> then we have a number of student made ones. So lots of laser cutting, because that was the very on-trend thing to do, and still really is. And then we've got some cool, kind of nerdy ones. So this could be quite funny. We've got like floppy disks, a cassette tape, and then there's a, a VCR tape as well. So, yep, yeah, I mean, Mia's not going to have a clue what any of those are, really. A little skater girl from my mum, from Gran Rosa. 
this is one from India then we have the kind of red collection we've got a lot of Santas going on which are from Ingemar's childhood I think pretty much all of them are I'm guessing he made some of these then we have this hilarious house which my best friend Freya gave me she brought this when she came to stay three years ago in Iceland then we have a little kind of natural wood um, collection and also a couple of crafted ones and then there's a little bit of gold so considering I wanted a gold tree I think we're gonna end up with gold red and some family stuff Night, nightmare. So Ingmar went shopping we didn't actually need very much but he has one two three four shopping bags full and now I'm gonna put it away right I'm gonna put you back in the cupboard and go through what Ingmar bought I basically added about 10 items to the shopping list. We didn't really need a huge amount, but I think he just saw how busy the shops were and decided I'm just gonna go mad, stock up, and uh, then we won't have to go and stand in a queue when it's minus eight degrees outside. Feels like minus 16. That's not really what you wanna be standing in the line for. So we have loads of breakfast cereal. Mia absolutely love Cheerios right now. Ingemar has the sugar Cheerios with her and then I on occasion have special cakes. I did ask for baking paper. I only really needed one roll but that's fine. We have milk and for those of you not in Iceland this is the Christmas milk Yule Lads featured on the front of it and this is what cream looks like in Iceland. Very exciting, isn't it? It'd be far more entertaining if Mia was the one doing this. Mia's juice, like drugs for her. She was mad for it. And 2020 features <laughs> a load of masks. Mia's bribes, <laughs> her fruit bars, which is the current favorite snack of hers, probably because of the advent calendar. I'm glad it's that and not chocolate though. Then Ingmar's keto snacks. <laughs> I asked for cheese and it's been on the shopping list for about six weeks because there is no stock of proper, sort of decent, normal cheddar cheese. And so Ingmar bought one, two, three packs of it. We have some chicken nuggets and a chicken. Oh, we have two. A good few Sunday roasts coming up and some chicken breasts <laughs> and then a load of skier <laughs> and that's our little grocery haul and in case you missed the snow it's back again a little dusting of snow guess what guys it's time to decorate the tree where's the dummy in take the dummy out what do you have to say thank you See that big tree behind you? <laughs> it's got to get decorations pretty. on it. Make Mommy. it pretty. pretty. Are you pretty? Pretty. Pretty Mia. Pretty. Pretty Mia. No. No? Pretty. Gorgeous Mia. Pretty. Mm -hmm. Highly intelligent Mia. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Pretty. Come on then, let's get decorating. What's your favourite decoration, Ingmar? Come and have a look at the tree. There's Mia's little handprint in there. Her picture right here. I think that's maybe my favourite. I like the Icelandic Yol Christmas. I also like these like really simple ones as well. And I made that with Mia last year. Oh man. And there's Santa Claus right here. I think we paid like a thousand pounds for it. Ingmar. <laughs> you made this. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Uh -huh. I've never seen it before. I love that we've got the mirror behind though. It's like having two Christmas trees. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. 
and Mia has a little sensory play over here with the leftover Christmas decorations. Yummy, yummy! Yummy, yummy! <laughs> num, 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 num. Good morning, it's Sunday now, second Sunday in Advent. We all slept very well last night, so I feel quite refreshed. <laughs> Um, aside from other stuff that's going on this morning, Mommy. I came through Mommy. and Mia already had some bobbles off of the tree, so that was interesting. Um, and she's, I don't know, I might have to move some of them further up, but there are designated Mia friendly bobbles at the bottom so she can play with it. I'll show you right now what she's doing. She's squashed herself right in here beside the tree. Yeah. You've got some makeup stuff with you from Mummy's drawer. This is what Gran gave you, your little skater girl. You want to do some painting? Okay. Not even had breakfast yet. Yeah, we do some painting. Cool, okay. Yellow. Yeah. Okay, we'll put some yellow on here. Gold. Orange. Orange. Red. Red. Thank you. What's next? Green. 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 Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. 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 Knock yourself out. <laughs> Which colour first? Or you choose? Always hello. You got a paintbrush in both hands. Beautiful. Orange. And orange, yay! Yeah. Ooh, that was beautiful. Red. Yeah. Ooh, circles. <gasps> wow. Wow. Good shape, Spunks. <gasps> mm hmm. More. Yay. Red. <laughs> Concentration tongue. Good race. Yeah. We're recording it because when you're famous, you'll be able to look back at your progress. See where it all started. <laughs> Me a beat. Me a beat time. Mm -hmm. Is this one finished or are you still working? Work in progress. Uh, no, let's not paint on the glass. Paint on the paint. <laughs> you're going rogue. Thank you. Okay. Today is number six. Where is number six? Hmm. Here. Yay! Yes, sir. This one. Me a try? No. Yeah, push. Try harder. Must try harder. Ooh, what's gonna be inside? Wow, a bar. Yummy, yummy. And you got paint all over your hands. Yay, Mia! Thank you. <laughs> Yay! We have the second Sunday in Advent up, coffee on, and Mia's got her Cheerios and her little fruit bar from the Advent calendar. What I was going to say earlier is I'm feeling okay, and this is totally TMI, but there might be someone out there who needs to hear this and is feeling the way I'm feeling. Basically, we are trying for another baby and it's hard. <laughs> Obviously, we're in a pandemic, it's not ideal, but we have been trying for a few months now and I was five days late and I was getting my hopes up. I really was and <laughs> I woke up this morning and my period was there. So, feeling pretty disheartened this morning and also just wanting to lie on the sofa under a blanket with a big mug of cup, like a huge, huge cup of tea, some chocolate and a hot water bottle. But such is life. I am up, I'm dancing with Mia, we've done church, I am making the most of what we have and we will just try again next month, or this month rather. And that's life right now. <laughs> we can't 
get what we want. We can't always get what we want anyway. It is difficult. I really I just, I want to be able to give Mia a sibling so much. She is just incredible and wouldn't it be amazing to have another little Mia running around, a boy or a girl, whatever. But yeah, that's the position we're in and for anyone else who is also in this position, I feel for you. And obviously, like, so far we've not had any problems that we know of, so we are very, very blessed that we were able to have Mia, naturally. And I know it's a lot harder for a lot of women, so just putting that in there keeping things real and being honest and telling you how I feel. And we're gonna go and dance with Mia now. Mia is all dressed for the day, looking cute as ever. Mouth, head, hair, and hips. Yeah, I love my body. I love your body. Oh, the way it is. Mia is having eggy bread for lunch and she'll only eat it with soya sauce on it. Interesting. <laughs> add for soy sauce. Mia, what do you like? Soya sauce. Soya sauce. Soya sauce. <laughs> so I just strung them all together and they look and smell brilliant. So I think I'm going to hang these up at the window in the kitchen, but we'll just see. And because of said period and it being Christmas, the Viking just bought me a little bit of chocolate. So we have <laughs> winter gingerbread edition. The hazelnut cream. We have Little Robins. These are obviously new for this Christmas. And chocolate <laughs> noisette. 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 <laughs> they look amazing. Spoiled. <laughs> Hi. Snap bags. <laughs> You're delicious. Look at this adventure monkey. What a little toddler. <laughs> What are you doing inside there, Mia? Hey, did you jump in? Dolly did it, did she? <laughs> We've got friends on. Enjoying a bit of friends. Sunday night cooking. <laughs> yeah, I've made dinner. Wow, I've made, <laughs> dinner I making. <laughs> I've made a big chicken korma. Uh huh. And we've got uh, cauliflower rice, which I've never made before, but that's boiling away. And Ingmar's on nan bread duty. Last week's and then maybe the tallest one for the second Sunday in Advent. There we go. Daddy's here. Daddy lighting the candle. Mm hmm. And we've got our yummy dinner. Thanks, baby. Mia, sit down. Thank you. Good girl. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Jesus! Almost. What would you like? Jump up high. Jump up high. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Is it not a nice Monday Please. today? Please. Please. Okay. <laughs> One second. Okay, so you just have to ignore the uh, TV in the background. It is Monday. I have a to-do list that's the length of my arm, and I was going to start editing this video, but. Legs Golly called and Mia will had a temperature and it's basically just full of snot. So she is home with me and everything has been put on hold. I was going to edit, do some emails and then I was going to make some cookies out of the dough that Mia made at Legs Golly, which we were supposed to decorate at like a parents evening but because of Covid that's not going to happen so we're just going to decorate at home but I think I'll just wait another day or so before we do that. I would have put that in the vlog but there we go, Monday madness. I think we're just going to end up leaving the vlog here but before I go I want to give a little shout out to two very special viewers. One of them who has a birthday coming up in a couple of days. So we want to say hi to Noelle and Timothy. I'll try and get Mia to come and say hi to you. But thank you very much for watching and we hope you have a lovely birthday. Hi. Can you say Timothy? Timothy. Can you say Noelle? No, me, me. Say Noelle. No, no, me. <laughs> no, say Noelle. No, me. 
<laughs> that's it from us thank you very much for watching this vlog and we will see you in another one next week with lots more christmas fun and festivities make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button and give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you next week bye guys